Are you tired of wrecking your thumbs trying to mount tubeless tires onto your wheels? Well, in today's video, I will put the Cycle Pal tool to the test and we'll see if this can actually help me out. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. In today's video, I have this tool from Cycle Pal. They sent it over and they want me to test it out and see if it can actually help me out mounting my tubeless tires onto my wheels. This is something I've struggled big time in the past, especially with GP5000 tires from Continental. Basically, I cannot mount these tires alone as we saw into this video. <laughs> ah. This wrecks my thumbs every single time I try to put them on. So in today's video, I will actually test it out with the tool. Quick disclaimer, I want to mention that Cycle Pal sent the tool for free and they paid for the production of this video, but this have absolutely no control over what I'm saying into this video and they are seeing it live at the same time as you guys. I will be swapping my tubeless tires from my IP wheels, but the Pirelli tires are a bit easier to mount onto the rim. I can do it alone with my thumb. It is extremely hard, it, it does require a lot of force. But now let's have a deeper look at the tool itself. And to be honest, my first look at it is, it does look really nice. I like the fact that it does spring back to its open position. The plastic is extremely strong and extremely stiff. I don't see it snapping on me, but I will have to put that to the test. I like the fact that there is some grooves here for additional grip here. And basically what you have to do is, uh, you put this on one side of the rim, you put this hook all the way around, you clamp it and then you can pull. So build quality, it looks awesome. It has this little hook here that can keep it closed, uh, which is nice. But I think having this in the workshop, if it does work, will be really nice. All right, so without further ado, I will dismount the Purity tires. I'll try to put one GP5000 onto one wheel, see if this tool can actually help me out. Then we'll swap the Purity tires and I will give my final feedback if I like this tool, if I approve this tool and if you guys should get it. All right, so this tool is not designed for tire removal, but I will give it a try. Uh, so I'll try to pinch it here under. It does slide out a little bit, but it kind of work. It's just missing a little bit of length. So unfortunately I cannot dismount tires, but it would have been nice maybe on the other side of the tool if they could have been uh, a regular longer tire lever. So I could use the other side of the tool to dismount it. Yeah, now I have a lot more lever air. Get it out. All right, so for now, the ultimate test, I have a GP5000 tubeless ready right there. Oop, that's no good. Don't want to break my wheel. <clears throat> All right, now can the tool help me put it in? So I put the little hook side onto the rim here. Try. That helped a lot. That helped, definitely helped a lot. So I got one side in, which is awesome. And we'll try the other side. So starting from one side, I should just start to roll the tire in. The beginning is usually a bit easier. I'll just, I'll try first without. Try to push the tire in as much as possible. Man, there's so much distance. <sighs> now my hands are so wrecked. My arms are pumped at the moment. It hurt. And we'll see if Psycho Pal can come to the rescue for this time. So I will hold this other lever on the other opposite side. We'll see if this is going to give me a little bit more strength to pull the tire in. Well, the star is still extremely hard. So at this point, I will just stop. I'm just not able to put the GP5000 tubeless ready, even using the tool. I had really high hopes that it would help me out. But again, this is not the fault of the tool. It's just the fault of probably the GP5000. That is way too difficult with the IP wheels. All right, so for now, for the sake of testing, I will put back the Pirelli tire 
tubeless ready. Again, this air was difficult to mount by bare hands. So I will see if I can do it easier with the tool. I push it in. There we go. Here we are. Took a couple of uh, sliding from different angle, but I made it through. Now we'll try with my own hands and see if uh, which side, which was easier. Push it in, this time with only my thumbs. And... Got it in a little bit faster, but it did require more strength, more hand pain. One more time, I'll try to do it with this tool. Boom. Okay, it worked. It took a little bit longer, but it took a lot less force. As you saw, I was able to uh, do it a lot easier. I did not use too much brute force uh, as uh, using just my thumb here. All right, so for now, the last test I'm going to do, I will use a regular clincher tire. These ones are the P0 Race. All right, and this time without any tools, I'll see if I can, how easily it is. This is definitely easier than the tubeless tire version. Got it in and I'll try now with the tool. Take the tool, go onto the rim one side and then just work my way. Boom. Again, took a little bit more time, but uh, a lot less force into the end. And now it's ready to have some air. All right guys, so what is my first impression on the CyclePal tire seating tool? Well, I feel it's, it's not a must into our workshop if you can work with your hands, but sometimes you always have this one tire that does require a lot of strength and this will be a nice backup tool to have. In the event you're not as strong or experienced mounting tires, I feel this is a really nice addition to your set of tools. If it can help anyone out to change a tire by themselves at home, save some money to go for the bike shop, uh, definitely worth the investment. Uh, for my first look, the tool is well done, well built, it looks strong. It's probably something that will last five to 10 years into your toolbox and you will use from time to time when changing tires and you just don't want to wreck your thumbs uh, like I just did or like I always do with especially my tubeless tires. I'm a big fan of tubeless tires and every single trick is a good trick uh, to reduce the strength needed because those can be a hassle depending on the rim and the tire combination. But to get back to this tool, even though it did not help me out with the GP5000 tire, it did help me out with the Pirelli tubeless ready tire uh, just because it requires a lot less strength. So I can either choose to wreck my thumb putting the tubeless tires on or just to use this and save myself some pain. For clinchers tires, they are a lot easier to mount on rims. I don't think this is a must. I feel it was just easier and faster to just use the thumb and roll the tire on top of it. Uh, you could use it, but as we saw, it take a lot longer, a lot more of a hassle. Might as well just push it with your thumbs. It's going to be faster, it's going to be easier, and you don't need to spend the money for this. But speaking of the money, this is super affordable. It retails at 15 pounds, and if you use the code CHARLES25, you get 25% out. With a seven pound shipping, you look at this, and it's around uh, 18 pounds uh, package to get to your door worldwide. Uh, so this is about 32 Canadian dollar, 26 USD. At that price point, I think it's a no brainer. Every cyclist should have this tool in your toolbox. If you go to a bike shop to replace your tires, uh, the labor will cost you about that 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So might as well just get one of these tools and learn to do it yourself. Uh, you won't regret it. All right, guys, that's it for today's though. If you want to put your hands on the Cycle Pal tire seating tool, check the links in the description down below and do yourself a favor and learn how to change your tire by yourself without wrecking your thumbs using this tool. If you enjoyed this though, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. And my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.